So I was driving in the far right lane on Interstate 5, passing an on-ramp that always gets congested in the afternoon. Because so many people no longer learn the rules of the road and don't know how to merge at freeway speeds, everybody has to slow down to a crawl. Still, most people are polite and don't crowd but take their turn. They do the merging zipper. The person ahead of you falls back to let a car in, you fall back to let the next car in, and so on. But you know how it goes. Every now and then you'll get some jerk who tries to crowd in. Most people are betas and they fall back to let the jerks in, but if I were a beta I wouldn't be making these videos. So I always pull up to let the crowders know they need to wait their turn. When it's a man they almost always take the hint and fall back. I've even seen guys try and then blush with embarrassment when they realize I'm not going to allow them to crowd. But if it's a woman, they usually act like they own the road, and they're offended when you don't let them crowd in. You have to expect that from the self-entitled products of the feminist hate mongers, but if you hold your ground, they'll usually fall back and take their turn, even though they may flip you off or honk in anger. Lately, however, I've been getting more than my usual share of white women drivers giving me the finger, crowding and acting like they want to run me off the road. And on this particular occasion, this white woman driving a late model SUV was starting to maneuver to take her turn and fall in behind me when she suddenly accelerated to within a few inches of the bumper of the vehicle that was merging ahead of me and just a few inches from the side of my car. As she started to run out of merge lane and I honked, she made it very clear that she intended to either force me to fall back or to crash her late model SUV into the side of my 15-year-old Taurus. The greater financial damage would have been to her car, but there are those rules of the road. Just because she caused the crash, we would still share legal liability because even if you're not the one who starts it, if you could have avoided the crash but chose not to, then you share the legal liability and you will both be ticketed. So I did the rational thing and fell back to let her in. But why would she have behaved this way? Maybe she was enraged by my bumper stickers. Blue lives matter, all lives matter, police lives matter, and Trump, make America great again. But then there's also the Cowlitz Indian Tribe Elder license plate frame. Similar to this one. A little bit different. It says Elder across the top and Cowlitz Indian Tribe across the bottom. Ooh, there we are. So, was it because she's sexist, racist, a Trump-hating leftist, or a combination of all three? Around here it's hard to tell. Whichever the reason, if she's such an intolerant bigot that she gets enraged by a working-class American Indian man expressing political appoint opinions she doesn't like, then she deserved to be offended like they all do, because people like her are offensive. <laughs>